everyone, it's Andy, and it's once again time for Art Stats Unboxing, <laughs> the March edition. <laughs> so Art Stacks is a monthly subscription fee where for 20 bucks a month you get 4 to 5 art different art supplies. So let's see what we got this one. Here's what the box looks like. And there's what it looks like inside. Okie dokie. So the first thing I see is a magnet. So normally they send like stickers or temporary tattoos or they sent a button before. This magnet is pretty cool. So there's a little magnet. So it's nice. It's different and neat. Then they also have the little menu bar. And then they said, uh, more birthday treats. In addition to the art stack magnet, enjoy $4 off your next purchase. So they started their own little store. I kind of forgot about that. Like the art stack shop. So you would help you find some of the more like rarer things that they send. Uh, so this is like $4 off their little store thing. But most of the pins and stuff, I actually would recommend not buying there from there. So to go to a different website. But anyway, I think it's their, this is like their anniversary box also. That's why they sent that thing. So here's where they call it Art Snacks. They send you a little candy, which I guess is a snack. So this is a warhead. Okay, so the first thing I actually do see in here is Hot Press Aquarial Watercolor Paper. So this is like little things of watercolor paper. That's pretty cool. If you don't know, hot press is actually used for details of watercolors and can't hold washes that well. So if you like to do a lot of washes with your watercolor, hot press is not what you want. You want cold press. Hot press is for details. So like if you have a lot of characters' faces and that kind of stuff, you want hot press. That's kind of cool. Then we got Terra Rosa. Which is like a darker, like pinkish, pinkish brown color. Uh, so, this is a watercolor. Okay. Then we got titanium white. So these are acrylic watercolors. Because in if you're a purist watercolor, you actually don't use white or. You, you can also use gouache too, so these are acrylic watercolors. That's how it's opaque watercolor. So that's white. So this is a colder white, it's titanium. Then they sent this new little wrapping paper. It's got stars all over it, that's pretty cool. Let me see if I can save that. So I can take my little photo for Instagram with it. Okay. I bet it's a brush. I bet it's a brush. Oh, look at that. It's a 0 0.3, I mean a 3.0 round brush. Most of the time when this, when Art Snack sends paint and stuff, they send a brush too. So there's a tiny little brush. A little detail. And then we got a pencil. A 2B. So it's kind of like a cool little. This is more like a drafting pencil. So if, so if you hold it like this, it's actually better. I like these sketches and stuff. Like that. We're both really so, I've actually used all these products before, so I really don't need to do like a review at the end. I've, I mean, besides this pencil, but I think it's just a pencil, so. Uh, the Gambin watercolor is actually pretty good. So there's the watercolor. Uh, this is just a brush. I mean, for me personally, unless you get like a really, really expensive brush, it's just going to be a brush. But a tip I do have is 
have separate brushes for all your stuff. So you should have different oil brushes. If you do oils, you should have different brushes for acrylic. You should have different brushes for watercolor. You should have different brushes for gouache. The watercolor and gouache can kind of overlap each other, but it depends. Like if you want to be a purist watercolor, you should have just watercolor brushes. And then you should have just brushes for your gouache. Then also if you have those little like ones you can fill up with, those are pretty great actually too, like if you want to go on the go and stuff. Uh, we've had this paper before, this Stonehenge. It's pretty good paper. Got this paper before. So I typically use cold press because I like to just like splash the water on there. So there's the hot press. And pencil. So that's what we got this time. Cool little magnet. So what you're gonna see after this is you're gonna see like a little, excuse me, you're gonna see a little like quick thing of me drawing and then you'll just see the piece at the end and that will be the end of the video. <laughs> so also if you wanna check out my Instagram, I have a Twitter, I have a Tumblr, uh, all that link stuff will be down below. Tell me what colors you got in this, in the watercolors, if you got a more exciting color than Terra Rosa. And, uh, <laughs> and if you've got, I'm sure everyone probably got the white, but let me know if you got a different color. You can also check out my work every single day on Instagram, I'll have the link below. And that's it for now. Bye!